There's little known about the really good benefits, or the great benefits, if I may say, of propane in the marine environment. For one, um, the marine environment is completely different than the automotive environment or propane for buses and, of course, different than using it for your barbecue. But the benefits translates into a fuel that I think will have one of the longest runs of any application that we see today with propane. And th the reason is that propane has got such a high energy density. And for the marine applications, it's going to be probably the longest time before we have um, things that can replace it with that type of energy density because a boat is so different than a car or other means of transportation. You can imagine that it's pushing itself through the water so it's like a truck or a car going uphill constantly. Um, it also has the benefit that because of the high energy density and its low weight, propane weighs as you know, you know, four and a half pounds per gallon. Um, that's significantly less than diesel and gasoline and that, that, therefore by weight, which is how you measure energy density, it's one of the highest energy density fuels available and it's a great fuel um, in the sense of storage. Um, boats tend to uh, fuel up and in some cases in the recreational market really become occasional use products. And when something is occasional use, even though the gallons are there on some of the larger boats, um, the storage of it and the use of the product, it just makes it more reliable. We manufacture um, smaller outboards today, and we're growing that those sizes as, as the company grows and the demand and so on, and we educate people, and we've gotten tremendous pull worldwide. We produce a 2.5, a 5 horsepower, a 9.9, .9, a 15, and a 25 now. And um, the, the, the size of engines is really not limited by the fuel. Um, where I see that it makes the, make sense, the most sense is really kind of engines under the 1,000 horsepower range. And, you know, I'm, we're talking about ferry boats at that point, you know, big uh, coastal local fishing boats or small ferry boats. Um, so the opportunity for the demand of fuel and the demand for propane engines in the marine applications is there. The fuel is so environmentally friendly in the marine applications because of its lower particulate matter, because of a, you know, the aspects of it not being able to get into the water, you can't spill it, and all of those things that you have with, you know, small recreational motors. With propane, you eliminate all of those problems. Right now, we're using it for internal combustion engines. Propane, in the vast consumer market, is known as the barbecuing fuel. People literally connect their hose, turn on their gas, and reach over and light their propane. Um, when was the last time you um, reached out and lit your gasoline? Not too often, correct? And probably wouldn't want to do that. But, you know, with, a, with an outboard motor, you're not even doing external combustion like you do in a barbecue. It's actually all internal. And the propane actually is extremely safe. It's odorized in case there is a leak. And even if there is a leak, the misconception that it's so heavy that it just pools is actually not correct in the sense that propane, if, if, if air has an air density of zero, propane has a weight of one. Gasoline vapors have a weight of four. So propane is actually on the extremely light side and the air fuel ratio to ignite fu propane are actually very narrow in open air and properly ventilated and with the proper equipment you have an extremely safe fuel that by the way is also extremely reliable. All of these small motors that we use today the number one 90 percent of the problems with them 
aren't really that they're swallowing valves or that the pistons are, are going or that you're losing rings. The number one problem people have is actually fuel related. So if you can eliminate that with an extremely reliable fuel like propane, then you've done something to improve what the customer experience is. People who have made the switch to propane are, are just fascinated by the you know, reliability of the engine, the power, the convenience of propane, and really kind of the good that they're doing as well. Because, you know, we all want to do something good, right? We all have that, we want to be green. Well, doing green isn't about just eliminating what you're doing, but taking the steps to go from where you are today and doing better and better and better. The benefits of that is that propane is really a unique fuel. I mean, the reliability factor, the lower cost, the extended engine life, the lower emissions, the, the cleaner aspects of the fuel inside the engine, and the fact that actually propane comes in as a refrigerant to the engine. So you're able to actually get extremely good combustion. I mean, with a gasoline engine, you're taking gasoline and trying to vaporize it, which is actually in a liquid form at room temperature. You know, the one thing you want to do to an engine is you want to get as much fuel, as cold as you can, that fuel. And propane being a refrigerant, and it immediately starts to try to, you know, condense the air, which is what you want, while expanding the fuel inside the intake manifold at that point.